Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Anderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Edgewood. Let's check out this model. But before you do, real quick, I filmed these exact same models a couple weeks ago over in Silverado Valley. This same model there is $50,000 more. So just a little location, location, location. Let's check out this one though. So you know, we are over in Whitney Ranch. I just want to shoot over here real quick so you can see there's going to be some homes with some really spectacular views. Again, I'm not even zoomed in all the way. I shoot with the wide angle lens. But this one right here, this is the Skyland model. It is four bed, three bath, 2,270 square feet. You get the two car garage. Right now it's the construction office. They will put the garage in there. And this one right here is 354,990. Now over in Silverado Valley, this same model exists there. It is 404,990. So 50,000 more for the exact same home. Now do me that huge favor, hit the like button. It really does help out with the channel. Make sure to subscribe. You will get all of these pavers with the home. So with Lennar, basically everything you see is what you get. They do have a couple things that they add to the models. I'll point them out, but let's go ahead and get started. Again, if you are looking at new homes, considering buying a new home, don't fill out information online. Don't go to the sales office to look at the models because the builder will not let you be represented. The associates have their fiduciary responsibility to the builder. Again, a little tidbit, as the buyer, the builder pays the commission, you do not. So if you have questions, all of my info is down in the description below. I wish they would just in the model show like a big drop, like pendant chandelier. That would be so cool. I would want to do that so badly with one of these homes because the entrances are really nice. Now, sorry for the sun flare. It's a nice wide hallway leading in. It just draws you to the backyard to right to those sliders. But before we get there, let's go ahead and head on upstairs. Now, the flooring in this home is upgraded 100%. They probably put like, uh, maybe like $20,000 into this model. Give or take again. Well, this model they have more because they changed the paint and all of that, but they don't even offer that. Basically what they offer is flooring and backsplash. That is really about it. Now we come up the stairs and we hit this, it's a small loft, don't get me wrong, but you could definitely turn this into like a reading nook or like a little office space. It would kind of be cool if you were sitting right here and the doorbell rang, you could literally just pop up and look over. Love the windows over there. Again, I just wish they would show it in the model, like a big drop hanging chandelier. If we come into this bedroom right now, nice size, so full size bed, two big nightstands, a nice window. You could easily put a desk in here if you got rid of the tree, but I know that's not, what is the right word? Uh, feng shui. You're supposed to have the tree in the rooms. I have learned that. I always joke with a couple of people in the comments about the tree because they throw the trees in the bedroom, but it is a big room, really big room. Again, they will not give you the light. They'll give you what they call a J box. It's going to be a pre-wire cap. So you have the switches already set up. You just need to get whatever sort of uh, lighting fixture you want, whether it's a chandelier type thing or a fan and light or just a fan that is up to you. They will give you the two door closet sliders. Again, the nice thing about this is it's nine foot ceilings upstairs and downstairs. So you can always move that bar up, put a second one in. How cool is this? I would have needed this as a kid. It's actually wrapped in leather. <laughs> I know some people, they just watch the channel for ideas of like home decorum and whatnot. That clock is super cool. Check that out. I'm a huge fan of like mechanical type things. So if we spin around this bedroom and the other one actually have a Jack and Jill bathroom. Again, upgraded flooring. So it's either gonna be a tile or linoleum in the wet areas, kitchen, sink, laundry, everywhere else will be carpet. You can upgrade. And then whatever cabinet color you pick for this, the kitchen, they'll put throughout the house. So these are the standard cabinets. They are bumper, so if you want to get the sock closing, I recommend just going to Lowe's or Home Depot and getting the hinges. They don't even offer it. 
you will get this countertop, you will get these sinks and faucets. You do get one medicine cabinet. I'm kind of surprised for two bedrooms. They don't throw another one right here. Let me know what you think. I know I just filmed some tri-point homes. They do not give you any single, or not a single uh, medicine cabinet at all. I thought that was kind of strange. Is this the life right here? Yep. So what's nice is you can separate the toilet and shower area from the rest of the bedrooms. There is a door that will go right here. They just have it off. I kind of, hmm, I, yeah, I guess there's enough room. It was almost seeming like it was kind of narrow, but you have your tub shower combo. Again, this is a fiberglass composite material. It's not real stone. It's actually easier to clean. There's no grout, no grout lines. You have your shower head, you have your valve and filler. Nice thing about it is you don't need the soap niche, even though I would like the soap niche, you have the shelf. Interesting room. Wow. So it's very similar in size as the last one. I just feel it's gonna be tricky on how you lay out the bed because of that window and because of this door. So you almost have to put the bed, where would you put the bed? They've obviously made it so you put the bed kind of here because they have the cable outlet right there. I don't know. Let me know what you think. It's a very, very nice size room. It might be a little tricky to figure out the layout because you have the door and then you have the window, but it is big. Obviously you can see they have a pull out couch. They have two giant um, nightstands. Very boho chic, very Coachella. Right here we have our two door sliding closet and it goes almost all the way to the door. I mean, it's a very, very big room. Same thing in this room though, about the um, ceiling light. They're not gonna give you a light. It's up to you to do whatever you want and they will not do the wallpaper, but kind of a fun room, like a playful room. If we spin back around, so again, one bedroom, two bedroom, bathrooms over in that corner of the house. But if we continue on with the tour, and again, don't, for hit, or, uh, don't forget to hit the like button because it really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. There's so many new subscribers. It's crazy how fast we're gaining them. Love makes this house a home. Oh, that's kind of cool. They have like the, it's almost like a, like a deli, like Jer Jersey Mike's, how you have that tear off paper. So it's a very big laundry room, <laughs> washer dryer. They do not have any options for cabinetry, unfortunately, because you could easily fit another unit right here. It's that big. I'm honestly really, really surprised though, that since the washer and dryer are on the second floor, they don't have the pan in. I guess it's just a model just for show but you, on a second floor to code, you have to have a pan underneath the washer in case it leaks. But there's a, like a drain underneath here. So if it does leak, it's gonna go straight out and outside. Right here, this guy is for your Cat6 internet connection. So um, there are no dead spots in the home. These homes are smart homes. You do get a ring doorbell with the home. And while I'm here, I'm just gonna show you what I mean. These guys, they have one upstairs and one downstairs. They emit Wi-Fi. So, you know, if you have your router way down low in the first floor and you have a big, big home, there's no dead spots in these homes, which is actually really cool. Coming into the master, nice, big master bedroom. King size bed, two nightstands, two big cozy chairs. Those look nice. Little sitting area so you can drink your coffee. Again, these, ho these homes have really, really large bedrooms. You could easily put a couch over in this corner. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's big. It feels almost barren because of how big it is. Ooh, we even have a closet over there. And if I remember correctly, this model actually has two closets. Plus it has a bedroom downstairs, which I know a lot of people really like, but very, very big room. If we come across the bedroom, let's check out this closet first before we go check out the master bath. So first closet, and it's nice size. 
It would be small if it was only by itself, but since there's two closets, it's pretty big. I feel like, uh, no, you couldn't fit any shelving, but it's probably, it's bigger than six by six. Let's just put it at that, or uh, maybe, yeah, it'd be close, but it is a pretty good size closet. Coming into the master bath, we have our toilet area, and we come on in again. Everything you see here will be standard. The only thing that isn't is the floor. So we have our two vanities. Again, same color cabinets as in the kitchen. By spoon, we have our um, composite tub and separate shower. They will give you the bench. They will give you the soap niches. This is it. Literally, this is how the home will come. Just different flooring, unless you option for this flooring. They will give you the privacy glass, which I'm so happy they do that now because some builders actually put clear glass above the tub. It is a nice size tub. The only funny thing that I can never figure out for the life of me, and I know I'm already thinking about the comments because I know there's a couple that will joke about it, is why does the door open this way, not this way, because the, uh, the towel rod should go there, not there. That is a hiatus, like literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so it's it, what, seven by 12. So yeah, seven feet away from the shower. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Huge closet, really, really big closet. Like honestly, the second closet is just the icing on the cake because this is a very, very big closet. They say it doubles as a dressing room. I mean, yeah, it's big. You could go crazy if you had like California closets or some other companies go out here. You could even have like, you know, the island with the drawers and everything, the jewelry drawers, the ones that are lockable. We even had some people tell me the container store is an awesome idea to do the closet. I have too many projects on my plate. I know I need to do that. I'm redoing my backyard. I'm actually adding, like doubling the amount of synthetic grass I'm putting in. I'm gonna put it in a fire pit. It's gonna be fun. I wanna do that before it gets too hot out here. Let's go in down and check out the first Floor. Again, if you have questions, please feel free to reach out to me and hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe because I put tours out every day and I also give away an Amazon gift card once a week to one lucky winner. So this just pulls you back. I feel like this is cool. I'm gonna back up because you could really do some really neat art on this wall. We keep on going right here. We're gonna have our coat closet and Harry Potter room. So they give you a bar right there. You can always add another one, but lots of storage down here. Really, really nice size Harry Potter room. Again, flooring is upgraded. And I don't believe they give you this gray paint. Usually it's just white. They used to do two-tone paint, which was really cool as, as not even an option, it was free. And I know they stopped doing that a little while ago, unless they're doing it in certain, um, certain communities. We have our dining area. Mm, uh, it's obviously not centered, because the lights are right here. It, you'd have to spill it out in the hallway. That's what I remember about this model. Since there's a bedroom downstairs, this can get very narrow, very fast, because they didn't push it up against the wall. Again, this is a model, there's people walking through it all the time, so they're trying to create a little bit of space, but the dining area is rather small. We turn right here, we have our two-car garage, and right here we turn into our downstairs bedroom. So this is the fourth bedroom right here, which is really cool. A lot of people love the fact that we have a bedroom downstairs. Now, this is 100% the smallest bedroom. I don't know why, they do the smallest bedroom downstairs. Especially, you know, some people, they have either parents or people who can't go up and downstairs and they give them the smallest room. My honest opinion is because they think most people are gonna use this as the office or a study. But again, full-size bed, two nightstands. You could maybe fit a desk in here if you got a smaller nightstand and cheated it over there or what, but it is definitely the smallest room. It's not. Tiny. I've seen smaller bedrooms where like you put this bed in and it takes the entire room up But comparably to the other rooms in here, you do get a nice window 
and then right here we have our closet and again rather small closet it's uh it's it's very tiny and i don't know why they do a door that swings because it, it's, if your bed's too long like yeah you i don't know a lot of little questionable details i don't know why they didn't do a pocket door that slides into the wall that would have made so much more sense i'm guessing this wall is load bearing and that's why but just little details we spin right here, we get to our downstairs bath now. No powder room in this house. Since there's a bedroom downstairs, they give you a three quarter bath, which is awesome. This will be exactly as it comes, minus flooring. So you get your single rectangular sink, you have sink cabinets, toilet, and then I love the fact that when they do the downstairs bathroom, they don't put a tub, they put a shower, just in case someone has a hard time stepping over the tub lip. Again, fiberglass composite material, soap niches all around. Again, I was joking in my last video. I feel like I should get a shirt made saying, where's my soap niche? But coming on into the rest of the home. So again, you have your dining area. And let me know, do you actually use your dining area? Because I know I just sit at the island or when I'm really being naughty on the couch in front of the TV after a long day of filming. But we have our living space and it's decent size actually so living and then while we're here i'm just going to show you the backyard and again a lot of people are new you've probably heard this before with this builder lease lennar they will give you the pavers they will give you the covered patio but everything else will be dirt and it is up to you to finish it however you so please average backyard out here is between 12 and fifteen thousand dollars you can go crazy easily rack up a two hundred thousand dollar backyard but this backyard is probably somewhere around that mm, 13-ish. It does have all the, the pavers over there. That might even be stamped. No, that's not stamped. Um, it's actually stone, and then they have the whole sitting area for a fire pit, really cool. But just keep that in mind when you buy new. And we have our kitchen. Love this kitchen. Now, everything you see here is standard minus the backsplash and maybe the refrigerator. They're starting to throw refrigerators in with the deal. I don't think they are right now. <coughs> Excuse me. I need to go back and watch the video, but I thought at least in the other models over in Silverado Valley, they had an overhang, like they cut the cabinet right here and they had an overhang right here. So you could get five uh, bar stools at the island which is awesome, but I don't remember. That community is a little bit newer and they always do little, little cosmetic changes to models to try to enhance them. But before we get into the kitchen, we have our pantry. Now you will not get glass here. It will be a solid door. They just want you to be able to see in. You get your five shelves. If we spin, you will get your 42 inch uppers. This is my favorite countertop and this is standard. A lot of times you want the gray or the white with the gray vein quartz. Ooh, it's expensive, but it is so cool. There's so much character. I feel like it's just so clean looking. Let me know what you like. We do have our tree. We have some little uh, charcuterie boards, which are really cool. My dad's actually making me some, which are really, really cool. Coming back around, there is a nice amount of cabinetry and counter space in here. It's a big kitchen. As far as um, countertop space, you have a lot. You have all the countertops over there. Really nice size island. Gonna love the gray vein. Really cool. So they did do a backsplash and it's like, um, it's actually kind of cool. It's like a whitewashed stone. So we have a bunch of cabinets down here. We have all the uppers, again, 42 inch. They have gray, white, this color, uh, mahogany, and then they also have an espresso, which is even darker. They do give you some USB outlets. I am so perplexed on why they put the phone jack right there. Like, why wouldn't it be there? Or why wouldn't it be there? <laughs> I just find it so amusing. It's like right in the middle of everything. It's kind of odd. We do have our island. This is what's different. So on the new homes over in um, Silverado Valley, you don't get this little tiny cabinet. They 
basically cut this out and let this overhang so that you could put two more bar stools right here. It's a really cool detail, just a nice little touch. Just shows you they change up things just a little bit different. Again, those are $50,000 more though. You have stainless steel dishwasher. You have your stainless steel undermounted sink. This is all included. You have your water filler. You can attach a reverse osmosis filler to that and it, um, the line does go to the fridge for the ice maker and the water dis uh, dispenser. Here is your view from your sink. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, this house, I like the layout. It just gets a little tight because the bedroom is right here. So when you have that downstairs bedroom, it eats up a lot of the downstairs. We spin back around. You have your oven. You have your five burner cooktop. Again, this will come with the house. These are the appliances. They do give you stainless steel GE appliances and it does vent outside. And then we have all of the cabinetry over here, more countertop. Really nice. I think now they include the fridge. They weren't for the longest time. They've really changed up a couple things. They used to give you two-tone paint, but no fridge. And now they give you fridge, no two-tone paint. Let me know what you think about this one. Again, if you have questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Whether it's this home, any other home, you need help finding a home, resale, new, anything in between, all of my info is down in the description below. And again, if you could do me that huge favor and hit the like button, it really, really does help out with the channel. We've been exploding in like the last, I think like 60 days, we've like had 800 new subscribers, which is insane. Thank you to everyone who has been subscribing. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.